Restored, coming out nice and slow. Be careful, please. This bus was in service in the Southern Division, Northern Division, but all over the state, and it was totally rebuilt by the uh, Friends group. There you go. There you go. Marty, Marty. of this type built by General Motors back in 1960. VIN uh, number on this bus is NJT001. That's the VIN number. Restored totally by our group. A 1989 Eagle AF-20 NJT bus, the first Eagles that New Jersey Transit, first and only buses that New Jersey Transit uh, purchased from Eagle. This bus was operated in service from New York to uh, Atlantic City, Atlantic City to New York. of the uh, New York buses, RTSs, purchased by the city of New York and has purchased thousands of these buses in 5227. They're totally restored by our group. G572. It's a 1953 GM TDM 4512. It was purchased by New Jersey Transit TNJ in service for many years.
Next bus up is 720B, that's a 1969 GM Suburban. Accepted as a V8 engine, and these kind of buses used to fly. It's donated to us by Jesse Poole. Bus up is number 7135 MCI. It was used by operated out of uh, Northern Division. It's the rodeo winner for three years in a row. The rodeo winner is driving the bus. That's the man who won the rodeo. Right here. 2008, 2009, 2014. The buses. Bus up is 3057, it's a 1989 Flexible piece, Suburban, 496.T, New Jersey Transit, Suburban bus. Thank you, sir. The Shrimp of the Group 2501, 2501, 1999 Nova RTS T602-06. It was a Broadway bus and on, it was totally restored by our group. It's, it's operated in the Southern Division. Is a GM, on, GM Transit, which is operated by so many yeah, locals up in uh, a lot of movies. This, car, this bus was used in the Joker movie. All the scenes in the Joker movie when he's driving the bus, this was the bus. Right. I need bus. Smash bus from Alexandria, Virginia. It's a 2020 New Flyer Excelsior. And that's an active transit bus, and I think they came the furthest today, as far as an active transit bus. Yes, they did. So this is a 2020 New Flyer Excelsior XD40 clean diesel, Dash of Alexandria, Virginia. We thank them for being here with us today. Come on by, everybody's waiting to get pictures and videos of you. And of course, the ride Dash, if you're in the area, it's free. So if you're in the DC area, Alexandria, check them out. Yep, signed for 35 Pentagon Metro. All right. Thank you for coming. And Aaron, all right. Bus even talks. All right. Thanks for coming, my friend. Yeah, all right. So next we have an ex Winston Salem, North Carolina. RTS, this one was only retired from service a couple of years ago. And the bus is very friendly, it's saying hello. It was fleet number 1141, 
It's a 2000 uh, RTS model year, it says. The 2001 Nova Bus RTS, Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Thank you for being here with us today. I know you've been at the shows with us in the past. Next, we have an X-Rabbit Transit, uh, Gillick from York, Pennsylvania. Fleet number 321, signed up for the York Mall, one of the busy routes. Thank you very much for being here with us today. And now we have uh, a 2006 Orion 5 XP line. It's all white. I believe it was formerly number 675, a bus that I rode about a week before it retired from service up in uh, Westchester County, New York. And uh, Frank Cardona is, uh, I believe, yeah, his driver, Frank. owns the bus. The strays click. Thank you very much for being here with that beautiful bus today. All right. Now we have a 1993 Eagle Model 1545 Entertainer, a factory built 45 foot raised roof and raised driver. After its use in the entertainment industry, it was owned and used by two different gospel quartets in the South and always kept in a nice, safe garage. Um, and it there's actually a grill underneath that slides out, so you can do it. It's perfect for tailgating at a nice uh, football event, right? <laughs> a beautiful coach. Thank you very much for joining us today. Bradley Weinstein, the owner of that beautiful bus. All right, Trevor Logan is coming down next with one of his favorite buses. It's a 1989 Flexible Metro ADB, model 4102-6C. It was originally owned by the Southern California Rapid Transit District in Los Angeles. 2737 is number 38 out of 65 buses built for the Southern California RTD in December of 1989. It operated in LA until April 2003, was purchased by a scrapyard in Kingman, Arizona after being retired, sitting in disrepair until 2016 when purchased by an LA bus fan looking to bring it back home. However, after sitting dormant in a back lot in Southern California for four more years. Trevor Logan rescued the bus, brought it here to the East Coast, and began a resto mod to the classic bus. A resto mod is a classic vehicle restored, but modified with modern parts and technologies. This is seven. Trevor, thank you for bringing that beautiful bus with us. Tommy. All right, Tommy is next with another bus from the uh, Friends of New Jersey Transit Collection. Tom? Was 2625. Uh, it was operated in uh, Central Division of Jersey Transit. It uh, was also used as a training bus in all the years of service, so it was very low miles on it, and it's in very good shape. Uh, give a hand for that bus. And to a lot of New Jersey Transit operators how to drive a transit bus. All right, another private coach number one, next here all our friends. I'm in McFadden with this beautiful 1987 MCI MC9B, lovingly restored. It's been in movies and TV commercials, in different paint schemes as well. And uh, from the junkyard to the bus screen, like it says there on the destination sign, what a beautiful bus. Lovingly restored by Armin McFadden, General Vintage Coach Works. Armin, thank you very much for being a part of our event today. We always, oop, always love seeing you. And a reminder, folks, please stay out of the uh, roadway while the buses are in motion. So we want to be able to stay safe, so please stay up off of the paved area. That's another B-Line, yep. And we have another ex-Westchester County B-Line Orion 5 coming down the pike here. There's at least five of them that I know of that have been saved by bus fans. Come on down. David Ortiz and his beautiful 2006 Orion 5, 40-footer. It's still in its Westchester County B-Line colors. And uh, like I said, there were five of these, at least that I know of, that I've seen on Facebook and in person that have been uh, restored. And we appreciate you being here with us today, David. Thank you very much. All right. All right. Eddie Rose coming along now. This is a beautiful 1967 Flexliner, flexible Flexliner. It's been at several of our shows in past years. 
and I've seen it in other shows along the road as well. It's a beautiful bus inside. The interior colors match the exterior green that you see. And it's uh, going to the World's Fair. Where, I don't know, but... And it's got a nice air horn, I love it. Eddie, thank you for being here, you and the family. We appreciate seeing you here today, as always. And I like this one, this is uh, Hale Zanier and a 2000 Gillick Phantom, which was uh, originally owned by Votran in Daytona Beach, Florida. I think I have a picture of this one in service in Daytona Beach that I took 20 years ago. And it's now privately owned and it's signed for the Daytona Beach Intermodal and the, also going to the airport. He added a couple of modifications like the flashing lights. Mr. Kale, thank you very much for being with us here today. All right, Tommy, back to you. We have more right, friends right, buses. Right, this next bus coming up is number 59. It was purchased from California by Classic Tours. They restored the bus. It's a California coach. Cosmetically restored in great shape. And it will take you anywhere, this way or that way. There it is. Beautiful, perfect coach. Operated by Classic Tours. It provided service to Atlantic City, Manchester, Park River, and New York. one of the newest buses uh, received from New Jersey Transit and uh, it's in good shape, perfect shape actually and one of our pride buses right there. I said slow. This was in service a couple of years ago, I rode back. the second order of MCIs that can throw through in 255. Uh, this bus operated at a Howell garage on Route 9 on, in the Southern Division of the Atlantic City. Okay. condition inside and out it's spotless there's not a mark on it. Form a trail waste bus, there you go. Okay. Operate operating service in Dallas, Texas. Airport service. Thirty seven seventy eight for the flexible NJ Transit operate out of most lines up in North Jersey, North Carolina. <laughs> 8316, operate out of Meadowlands Garage and Howe Garage. Beautiful young driver in the bus. Hi, how are you today? Give her a hand. Bus 190 coming out. Thank you. This is 190. That's bus 190 is a former New Jersey Transit Mobile Command Center. I uh, was restored at the Newark shops and it's presently part of our collection. Thank you.
All right, Tom, tell us about this beautiful bus. This is a 1960, I don't know what year this is, an old bus. <laughs> Come on up. It's a deck and a half. At one point in time, this was the, the pride of um, the pride of the fleet. It's a 1968 uh, cruiser, deck and a half. We use these for charters all over the country. This bus worked at every, just about every garage in the system. So it's still running thanks to guys like Glenn. Glenn keeps them running. Thank you. Okay, folks, that takes care of the parade. We're done. Thank you very much for coming out. Thank you so much.